morning and welcome to our show. We have Andrew Work, founder and editor in chief of Harbor Times. Hey, thank you very much. Always happy to be hosted by Vincent Wong, the founder of HKSOW, Hong Kong Solution on Wheels. Okay, welcome to a new week, and this is the week of the policy address. Yes. So remember to subscribe, and also we will have a uh, special episode on Wednesday at around uh, three o'clock. That's right. Uh, give you an overview of the policy address. Uh, rumor has it it is the longest, the longest ever. Yep, longest yeah. ever. Okay. Uh, see why long is all out. All right. Ah, or all in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see what he, we're gonna see what he has all for right. us on uh, Wednesday in the yeah. morning. We'll have a preview, and then in the afternoon we'll meet up and do the oh, do yeah. the do the hard oh, yeah. the first okay. kind of the first pass at it. All right. Okay. Um, and uh, today's hot topic is it's still still the disappearance of Li Bo and the four other publishers that have gone missing from Hong Kong, from China, from Thailand. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're British citizens or Swedish citizens, whatever, they're gone. Poof. Over the weekend, we had some new revelations as Li Bo popped up again, uh, this time with a video to prove that, don't worry, everything's fine. I don't know why you're making such a fuss. It's really difficult for my family. It's Everybody, ex it's exclusive just chill. coverage uh, yeah. in Singtao Daily yesterday. Yeah. His and uh, stir up a lot of noises. Yeah, his wife has also asked for people to just lay off. No more protests. And I think, you know, what's happening here is you've got the mainland government trying to handle this like they normally handle things on the mainland. And what they don't understand is that in a free society, these things take on a life of their own. You can't just have a handwritten letter from the guy saying, everything's fine, I'm fine. And people go, oh, okay, okay, that's fine. That's not going to happen here. No matter how much his wife asks him to lay off, this thing is not going to die because nobody buys it. Well, each of us think that there's a broader issue behind the oh, Lee's disappearance. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of these issues, of course, has been covered by uh, many commentators and all that. Sure, sure. But uh, each of us has a particular point that we want to make today. Okay. I mean, to me, of course, the pro-establishment camp kept on saying that there are not sufficient evidence to prove what's going on. Yeah. No, but, it's, but it's guys, a, it's a coincidence. But guys, but guys, listen, it is not the right time to say such things anymore because of the psychological impact, yeah. not only to the people living in Hong Kong, but in particular, I'm more concerned about the global uh, investors arena. Yeah. Because to a lot of investors, I'm not talking about institutional investors, I'm talking about the, the, the rich or sure. the, the old money. Yeah. They position, mm -hmm. or in their mind, Hong Kong is the Oriental Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a it's a it's a safe haven mm. uh, to, 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 to theoretically to to, to to inject their properties or assets or money here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And now this incident, regardless of what the real causes are, mm -hmm. I mean, right now, a lot of investors are losing faith. Yeah. Not confidence, yeah. but losing faith yeah. to the system mm -hmm. right here. Not the one country, mm -hmm. two systems. I mean, a lot of investors, they don't care. I mean, yeah. they just want the property, the assets, and the money safe here. Yeah. 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 I mean, right now, they are expressing concerns, and they might be worried, and they might pull out their money. Well, if they can pull people, maybe they can grab your cash, too. Yeah. So, maybe they can so, grab your so title property. People are thinking. Yeah, a lot of things. So it's very important for the SAR government mm. to reassure the global community. Yeah, of course they have to address the local community, I, but they also have to address the global community. But how do they do that? How do they do? It? They just might say, "Don't worry, everything's fine. We're committed to the law." They can't. I mean, they, they what they can do is that with CY Learn's connection. Yeah, I mean, he has to show something, or yeah. at least he has to show was the investigation so far. Yeah. Otherwise, this will be a permanent stereotype yeah. about Hong Kong. I mean, this is what I'm really worried about from the financial Valid perspective. Concern. Yeah, the political perspective, a lot of people has been talking mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. that for the past two weeks already. I yeah. Mean, I mean, I am much Hon worried about the, the, the global deterioration in faith and confidence of other system in Hong Kong, which could lead to Ultimately, a massive outflow of capital. Yeah, 
I, I am worried. I don't know about a massive outflow of capital, but there will be, I think, a maybe a slow drain because an adjustment people, of portfolio. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. People look around the region and say, eh, "Do I really want to do that?" Because if they can snatch people, why? Maybe they can snatch my cash if they decide they don't like me. So, here's a question. Then they start looking around the region because remember, one of these guys was nabbed out of Thailand, and you know, talking to diplomats in Thailand, they have no idea what's going on. Everybody is silent about it in Thailand. Nobody's talking about this guy disappearing from Phuket. Are people going to look at it and say, okay, who are China's friends? Don't invest there, right? Philippines, they're at odds with China, safer, yeah. right? Vietnam, uh, Thailand, don't go there yeah. because, and, and, you know. And, and listen, I mean, for this show, we are not even spreading rumors. We are not even spreading fear. No, no, no. We are doing secondary. analysis right now. I yeah. mean, but do something. Out there. I mean, you got a point about uh, this incident compared to... People yeah, we talked. Right? Yeah, we talked about this earlier. Uh, the police also over the weekend revealed uh, details about a businessman and his wife who were kidnapped out of Hong Kong uh, by persons unknown, security not security, dumped on the side of the road in China. At which point, the mainland authorities were like, "Oh, look who's here!" Bam, got you, because they these people were wanted. And you know, people are kicking up a stink now because it's a publisher of controversial materials. It's about freedom of speech. Fair enough, but. People don't make such a stink when it's a gangster who is, you know, illegally extradited or illegally, you know, rendition, they call it, back to China. Uh, or if somebody's pulled out of Hong Kong, you know, if it's a corrupt mainland Chinese businessman, they're like, yeah, procedure, whatever. He was a bad guy. He deserved it anyways. But if you don't respect the procedure in those cases, nobody's going to respect the procedure in any cases. Yeah, that's, and I, that's a spirit. Like, I mean, behind the rule of law. Yeah, like right now, it strikes me that if this kind of goes unpunished or this whole thing ends up just washing out and nothing happens for you, it is like seeing two gangsters on the mainland. Hong Kong is fair game. Go down there, kidnap whoever you can. And if there's a bounty on their head in China, go get them. Oh, that's scary. You know, this is Wild West yeah. stuff. All right. uh, so I think that's a real concern. And if we're going to have rule of law, it, it can't just be for you know, publishers of materials uh, objectionable to the authorities, it's got to be for everybody, yep. even those people that you know, we would find objectionable, like corrupt business people or triad gangsters, whatever. You got a rule of law that means everybody is treated equally. You got to respect the law in all cases, not just when it suits you. We should be making us think about all the cases of illegal I agree. rendition. I agree. So there, well, there you go. For the record, uh, we wish Lee Paul's family and, his, and, and, and all of his co-workers well, I hope to see them in Hong Kong pretty soon. Yeah, no, uh, nobody's buying that he is uh, moving under his free will unless he shows about back in Hong Kong. Uh, that ain't gonna happen. Sorry, uh, nobody's buying it. Uh, well, we, we just hope that there will be some breakthrough. I hope so. Yeah, for all five. All right. Uh, so, do subscribe to our show, like, share through Facebook or Twitter. Remember, how about times have a you? That's right. And uh, yeah, and then also go to Solution on Wheels or search for uh, SOW on the website. Well, good work, Andrew. There you go. Good solutions, Vincent. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Okay, see Cheers. you. Cheers.